Buongiorno e benvenuti a MCS, il canale dedicato al ciclismo. Oggi è, il, è la grande partenza del Giro d'Italia. All right, I'll, I'll go back to my usual uh, Aussie Bogan act now. I think it's an act that I can pull off maybe a little bit more convincingly than my Italian, but uh, just remember, you won't get that level of culture in any of your other Aussie cycling channels. As you've probably gathered, today we will be running the uh, first stage of the Giro d'Italia special collaboration with Zwift this year uh, where we'll be able to ride the first time trial stage in the town of Bologna and the climb up to climb of San Luca up to the Basilica there so I didn't have a pink jersey but I've done the best I can so I'm out in the old Carrera Tassoni kit from the early 90s and uh, yeah, a bit of Pantani as well. I'm not sure if he was much of a TTR, but there is a bit of climbing on this one, so we'll see how we go. So the stage today, eight kilometer TT, and the final two kilometers is a climb with an average gradient of about 9%. It looks pretty tough, it looks pretty steep, so it's not your usual TT. And uh, this morning I was watching Dan Lloyd on the GCN channel going up that climb. And it looks like it's really steep. He commented that there are a lot of sections where it was really close to 20%. So it's 8Ks in total with that 2K climb at the end. To set the fast, set a fast time, it's a matter of pacing those first 6Ks, I think, and keeping um, a lot in the tank. And then really, really trying to push up that hill. They're probably one of the favorites of the uh, Giro this year. Primoz Roglic set the fastest time of 12.54 with uh, Simon Yates, not too far behind, 19 seconds behind, followed by Vincenzo Nibali, 22 seconds further back, and uh, Miguel Angel Lopez, 27 seconds behind, and rounding out the top five is Tom Dumoulin with about 29 seconds down. I think I'd be happy with 20 minutes. I think I'm gonna have to bank on a 20 minute effort here. I have read, haven't read too much about what Zwift is uh, doing. There's a bit going on, I think. I think there's, you can unlock some cool kit. I already got mine, so I don't have to worry about that. Um, and also, there might be some sort of a competition. Of course, it's a competition. It's always a race on Zwift, eh? But anyway, it's gonna be a lot of fun. It's not something, of course, that we're gonna be able to do very often. Um, and it's really good that we're able to follow the, 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 the real racing and have a crack at the first stage. So I guess we have to thank Swift for that. I'm sure it's not so easy to quickly program up a whole stage to look like the town of Bologna. But um, that's, that's really good. I think it's a um, sign of things to come for sure. So, well, that's the plan for today then. So if you're expecting, if you're hoping for, you know, a bit of a tourist uh, ride around the town, Around the around the course, you're not going to get it. I'm sorry. Um, I'm going to be giving it giving it a decent push. So there's going to be sweating and there's going to be heavy breathing, and you're going to see a lot of pain face. Um, but I'm interested to see what sort of times I can put up there. I'm sure there'll be all the people around the world giving it a crack. So it'll be int very interesting to see the results afterwards. Even not just mine, even just people in general to see what you know, what your average weekend warrior out there can manage. What is the fastest time that a non-pro can, can push up there? It'd be very interesting. Um, yeah, so anyway, I'm gonna uh, get warmed up and I'll see you at the starting line. I decided against using the TT bike. I'm sticking with the aero bike. Um, the pros all ride the TT bike. I think one guy apparently changed his bike at the bottom, but I'm going for a mix of climbing and, and, and aero, so I've gone for the aero bike and I've kept the Zip 808 wheels. So not full on TT, some weight considerations for the climb. I don't know, just what I'm doing. Here we go. So it looks like drafting's gonna be in. I think, maybe they just turned off all the drafting, who knows? Doesn't matter. 
stick to the plan. Garmin's not working with the average power, which is a shame. So I just stick to the plan, 270, 280 for 6Ks. Don't feel too good, so I'm using this for a bit of a warm up as well. Um, this top is hot. This was not a good idea, I should have worn my usual base layer. Anyway. Maybe they've switched off drafting, that might be a good idea. Doesn't matter. It's a TT. It's a race of truth. That's 1k down. I have fallen so deep. Multiply the weight, hide and weed. I need the music to sleep. The demon in me is so weak. And then you came along. I kept you in a song. So I can play it in my mind when I am all alone. What's the magic spell? You really know me well. Got me hypnotized, I realize it's in your eyes I hate that I love your scent I hate that I love your style I hate that I love you There's definitely no drafting, so that's good. Make it like a proper TT. So they've turned off all the drafting effects. And just like a real TT, I seem to have forgotten my towel. So, things could get a bit ugly here. Just trying to keep it nice and smooth. 260, 300, 250. Just the usual ping-ponging the power meter. Average power is not working for me. Oh, uh, maybe. I don't think so. Nah. I'm trying to get my average lap power. Would have been good. Anyway, got more numbers than I know what to do with. Just ride. Point two to go. Getting close to the climb now. Going a bit harder than I'd like. It's funny when you see those other riders, you just naturally want to chase them down. I guess I am racing against them. This is it, this is the start of the climb now around this tight corner. Straight into it, nine, ten percent. Don't want to lose the head. Keep the cadence up. Just keep it above 300, not too much above 300 though. 13%, wow. Nice and easy.
Oh. Feeling that. It's only 300 meters. Got a long way to go. Climbing. My son's watching me. Played footy today, this morning. They won by about 10 goals. Played well too, kicked a couple himself. Just tap it out like a clock. Like a clock. Halfway through the climb, steep here. Looks like it's 16% all the way up.
So 110 riders in that block, six, six in that group. Don't know what that means overall worldwide. The tournament's on for a couple of days, so we'll see how we go. Anyway, 17 minutes and 32, that's pretty good. Average power was 294 watts. So quickly looking at the, the numbers here. Uh, the race wasn't even 20 minutes long, so we can not bother with that one. But five minute power, it's my best for the last couple of days at 327 watts, which is pretty good. That must have been after that dog leg on the climb there. I really concentrated there on that steep straight bit and was putting down some solid power there towards the end of the climb, which was good. Uh, one minute power, uh, 355 is not bad. Let's go and have a look at the uh, timeline. So the timeline basically raced as I as I hoped. Good solid uh, effort through here. Nothing nothing crazy. And then as we get into the climb, you see the colours change. So pushing up. I think the climb started here. So you can see the climb here. Obviously, there's always that burst at the start. You get a bit excited. But then how good power a lot of the way through and finished off strong here. So that's great. Heart was sitting pretty much solidly at 169. Bit of a blip there. Let's see what the critical power looks like just out of curiosity. So one minute, yeah, I mean, it's not a sprint. So uh, just trying to tap out. See, five minute power was, was, was all right. And, and, and that's as long as the race was. All right. So that's the Giro d'Italia time trial in Bologna. Hope you enjoyed it. So my time in the end was 17 minutes and 32 seconds. Now it'll be interesting to see the sorts of times that some of the other guys can put up. I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, probably, as usual, can probably feel like I could have gone a bit harder, but I'm um, happy to be under 20 minutes. Long way off the, the leaders, which is interesting. Don't forget, they've got a whole week to race and I'm just gonna basically give it my all today and I don't have to worry about tomorrow. So, well, not as far as bike riding goes, I've got other problems to worry about tomorrow. Based on those power numbers, 294 watt average for the 17 and 32 minutes. It's really good to, to give it a shot and participate. I think I've unlocked some merchandise, some socks and some hat. Yeah, so it's been a bit of a swift, swift racing bonanza this weekend. Three days on the trot. I'm getting really good at setting this thing up and tearing it down. Uh, I'll get this bike now. It's Sunday, so I'll now have to go and get this bike ready for commuter, commuting duties tomorrow. And, uh, and that's it for the weekend. Anyway, I hope you're enjoying the channel. Please give me a thumbs up, give me a like if you're enjoying what you're seeing. And please, I'd really also appreciate it if you subscribe as well. So click here to subscribe. And uh, if you want to remember what it's like riding out in the real world, click here for the Mornington Run. And you can see some sunshine. Well, hope you've had a good weekend. All the mothers out there, happy Mother's Day. And until next time, GoPro Stop Recording.